Coming up, another rally has fell victim to what's going on out there as far as the pandemic is concerned. Also, we have coming up a big brawl that broke loose. We got video on that one uh, reporting from the news anyway. Also, our thoughts go out to a Hells Angel president, their chapter, uh, for the sudden loss. Be right back. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. Like the video. Share it all over the place. This is your morning biker news and everything that's happening in the club scene as well as the biker scene. But yes, we have one today. A victim. Yes, a victim of the pandemic. Uh, the Fayetteville biker is postponed again. It is the bikes, blues, and barbecue. It's not going to be allowed this year because uh, the event uh, organizer said uh, we have determined and informed or actually, this is from Associate Vice Chancellor, University Relations. We have determined and informed the organizers of the BB and BBQ event that we believe it is in the best interest of the community that we terminate the license agreement that would allow organizers to use university parking lots for this year's event. And it follows a plea from a local hospital... Uh, a local hospital, you got that right. Uh, not told the uh, popular event uh, late in uh, September. It indicated, of course, they're going after Sturges. Uh, may have uh, again been a super spreader event, even though there's no numbers on that yet. Uh, let's see here. August 25th, 2021, Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue staff were notified of a letter sent from Washington Regional Medical Center to the city of Fayetteville. The letter was discussed at a city of Fayetteville public health board meeting on the same day. Uh, the 26th, uh, the Washington Regional Medical Center also sent letters to Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue. So basically, they were all ganged up on. That's what it's looking like. Uh, it just was like a freaking domino effect from there. Everybody, University of Arkansas, uh, started sending freaking letters. Uh, and then it came out uh, from them at Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue Organizers. Do not feel they can offer a quality event with such massive changes on a short notice. We will be postponing the event at this time. And then they say go ahead and go to the website for more updates on this. Uh, yeah, they always are hitting bikers now, aren't they not? I'm telling you, they're going after Sturges as if it was an event that everybody caught something even though we haven't seen the numbers yet but you know how the media plays bikers and stuff so let's uh go right now to uh canada opp is investigating a biker gang bra in southwestern ontario situation in cranbrook friday night east kootenay regional hospital locked down after five people showed up with stab wounds following what RCMP say was a brawl between rival biker gangs from Alberta. Just heard that there was a, like a, an incident at the Chevron, which is right beside the Days Inn, that, where the Hells Angels were staying, and I heard another bike gang come in. Rebels Motorcycle Club members gathered outside the hospital after the melee which police say happened around 7 at a gas station along the city's downtown strip. There you go right there, Rebels and the Hells Angels. Uh, quote, the presence of motorcycle gangs in any community should be a concern, police said. Citizens should minimize contact with gang members and report any outlaw motorcycle gang activity to cops. 
interesting how they do stuff up there. Anyway, our thoughts go out to the Haney Hells Angels. Uh, Michael James Spike Haddon uh, passed away August 1st. Uh, he was uh, 64 years old. His nickname was Spike. He was a lifelong resident of Maple Ridge. Uh, he was a proud member of the Hell's Angels uh, chapter, which celebrated its 30. Well, which will celebrate its 35th anniversary in 2022. Uh, he was the owner of Hanny Hogs. Uh, a motorcycle shop in Hammond. Uh, quote from Hot Rods the Harleys, his legacy was larger than life. One of the tributes read, uh, the funeral set uh, for September 4th, uh, and then there's going to be a tribute ride, motorcycles only, uh, starting at Haney Hogs at 10 a.m., uh, our thoughts go out uh, to them. And then, of course, the RCMP... Uh, had to get into the mix, which <laughs> they always do, don't they? Anyway, wall of shame time, and this is a big one, wall of shame. A former Massachusetts state police captain arrested, arraigned on child pornography charges. What is it with all these cops? They're always getting busted on sex crimes. Nasty business, you damn perverts. What's wrong with you people? A retired detective captain with Massachusetts State Police has been arrested and arraigned in connection with allegedly possessing child pornography. You freaking sickle. Francis Hart of 60 of Amherst was arraigned in Eastern Hampstead District Court on the charge of possessing a child pornography two counts. He pleaded not guilty to a charge and was released. Only posting $2,500 cash with the conditions that he have no contact with any child under the age of 18, no internet access other than on public devices that prohibit access to illegal sites and illegal content. That's messed up. State police assigned to the Cyber Crimes Unit and the AG's office began an investigation in January after receiving information from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children that an email address registered to Hart had uploaded a file containing numerous images of suspected child pornography. You know what, you sick-ass puppy, man? What the hell is wrong with you people, man? You nasty. That's what I have to say is you're nasty. And you guys are always going after bikers for being the big bad wolf. And here you guys got all these cops getting busted and arrested for rape this, sex this, sex with the kid. You nasty people, man. What the hell is wrong with you? But what's more disturbing, you know, all joking aside, is that there are people that go after innocent children. You know what? I always talk about on the morning hoot with China Dow how they should take them to Main Street right there in the main square and do all kinds of nasty medieval stuff to them and let the parents do it. How you could even live with yourself hurting a child, I'll never know. Never know. That's weak. But of course, a lot of these people are weak asses. They'll use their growing up as some kind of excuse. Or this or that. I don't buy any of it. None whatsoever. None. But also, I'm kind of upset with that thing in Fayetteville, man. It seems like bikers are, I'd have to say, being persecuted. The media, every chance they get... They go after bikers for this and that, but they didn't mention the big uh, events at baseball fields, concerts. No, because the narrative is not there. So, why should they? People ain't going to stand up and say anything. They're not going to call out the bias that the media has. 
but it always does with the bikers. They make headlines. They get clicks. Stuff like that. So it don't matter if their information is true or not. Which is sad because there's a lot of people that really don't do their research on this kind of stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the description or in the comments uh, section of the video. Don't forget to go over and visit us over on Instagram at Official Insane Throttle. And don't forget, I'm going right now over to the Hollywood and uh, China Dow Morning Hoot. And boy, is it a hoot, man. You to download our app, listen to it there, go on Discord, see it being uh, video live. Uh, I go after China Dow all the time, man. You know, you got to put vipers in their place, man. Women are vipers. They like using them Jedi mind tricks on you and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a hoot, let's get over there right now. Everybody else, I'll catch you later. You have a good one. <laughs> Download the Insane Throttle Radio app and listen to the hottest modern rock on the planet. No commercials at all. Just hard rock and roll, baby. Download the Insane Throttle Radio app for Android now on Google Play. Rock on.